What is going on everyone, my name is Cody Moore and welcome to the very first episode in the Intro to Web Development Tutorials series. This series is aimed at anyone who wishes to create their very own website or for anyone who wishes to learn more about the development process of creating a website. So you're going to learn how to create a proper, good looking and functioning website by the end of this tutorial series. And you don't need any prior programming knowledge whatsoever to follow along with this series because I'm going to teach you guys everything that you need to know. Now I'm going to give you guys a quick broad overview of what we'll be covering in this tutorial series. We're going to be doing a lot of HTML. HTML is the core part of every single website. Then we're going to move on to CSS. CSS adds style to your website. It allows your website to look good. Then we're going to do some JavaScript. JavaScript adds functionality to your website. It will allow the user or the viewer of your website to do many things on it. And then throughout this whole entire tutorial series, we'll be talking about good and bad design techniques when creating a website, as well as how to fix any errors that you may encounter while creating your own website. And of course, we'll be doing much, much more in this tutorial series. Now, what do you need to follow along with this series? Well, you're going to need a web browser. This is probably the most important part. The web browser allows you to see your website. I'm going to be using Google Chrome, but you can use your favorite web browser. You can use Safari, Firefox, Opera, Internet Explorer, and there's a few more out there as well. But whichever web browser you use, make sure you get the latest version of your web browser. Try and update your browser to the latest version possible. Older web browser versions might not work with the code that we'll be writing, so try and update your browser to the latest. And you're going to need a text editor. The text editor is what we're going to be writing our code in, our HTML, CSS, and JavaScript in. I'm using Notepad++ in this tutorial series. It's 100% free. It's a really powerful text editor. The link to get it is down below in the description. But you can use any text editor that you wish, Notepad, Sublime Text, or anyone out there. There's many, many, many text editors. So use the one that you're most comfortable with. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I hope to see you following along with this series. It's going to be really awesome.